What is up guys? Welcome back to Mad DIY. It's your boy Dave. Today we're going to show you how to walk through the setup adding an Xbox wired controller to your RetroPod. But this one is going to be quick, simple, and easy like every other video I do. And this is going to be for a wired controller. Okay guys, once you log into your screen, it's going to look like this. Now, for those that are just logging for the first time into their RetroPod, you're going to pro hopefully you're going to see the screen where it's going to say, hey, a new input is detected. Hold the A button down and get everything configured and you're good to go just walk through the menu options if not you're going to be here so assuming you have another controller configured on your RetroPie you just simply want to go ahead and hit start on that controller and you're going to scroll down to configure input now before I go forward I'm going to back out really quick for those who may not be able to get to that point either the only other way you're going to be able to get to that point is to plug in a USB keyboard Plug in a USB keyboard and hit F1. That's going to bring you to this menu here where now you can configure the input for your wired Xbox or PlayStation controller. So let's go ahead and get this guy configured. So from here you want to go ahead, hit the start button and scroll down to configure input. Now we're going to go ahead and hit A to configure input. Are you sure? We're going to hit A for yes. And here is where it's going to detect your new gamepad. So in this case, we're just installing an Xbox wired controller to the RetroPie. So we're gonna simply hold down the A button on the Xbox controller. Now we're just gonna run through the menu options. First is the direction pad. So we're gonna hit up, down, left, right, start, select, A, B, X, Y, left shoulder, right shoulder, left trigger, right trigger, left thumb, you just simply push this guy in, right thumb, push that one in, left analog up, down, left, right, right analog up, down, left, right, and for hotkey enable, very important, hit the select button. So of course, looking at the gamepad, your select is here, your start button is on the right. So select, start. So the hotkey is gonna be very important because that's how you're gonna back out of your games, that's how you're gonna save games, that's how you're gonna continue save games. Once done, just simply hit A for OK, and it's gonna bring you back to this menu option. Your controller is now configured, and you can simply navigate throughout all your game menus using your wired Xbox or PlayStation controller. Very quick, simple, easy to the point. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's your boy Dave, Mad DIY, signing out. Till next time, peace.